Formula One and Liberty Media announcing last week its third U.S. Grand Prix will be held in Las Vegas next year. Joining us now to discuss that and a lot of other things, Greg Maffei, Liberty Media's president and CEO. Greg, always good to have you. Let's start off on, uh, on Vegas 2023. You guys also, though, I know, are serving as the promoter and I guess also taking on, therefore, the risk of the business side of the race. That's different, right, than what goes on in Miami and Austin, for example, isn't it? Why? Well, hello, David. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're correct. The role we're assuming in Las Vegas is broader than we normally have, where we have a local partner who does most of the arrangement, takes a lot of ticket risk, works on local sponsorship and the like. Uh, here, because of the nature of Vegas, because of the opportunity we saw, because it's probably close to our uh, home office in Denver, all those set up well for us to take on a, a large role here. Uh, and what are your expectations when things get moving? I mean, you've now got three sites in the U.S. Uh, viewership seems to be up strongly. Your stock price, actually, Greg, has had a heck of a year at this point as well. Um, you know, what does Vegas add? Why was there a need for a third venue in the U.S.? Well, I don't think I would describe it, David, as a need. I would describe it as an opportunity. Uh, you rightly noted that last year in Austin we had uh, an amazing race, the largest race in the history of, the, of uh, Formula One in terms of attendees, and uh, up probably about five times what it was five years ago uh, in terms of attendees. We have an upcoming race, inaugural race in Miami, uh, May 6th to 8th, uh, sold out in about uh, 36 hours. Um, tickets are trading in the secondary market for huge premiums. So demand is very strong. So the opportunity to continue to ride on that demand, as you noted, the strength in, in viewership, both on ESPN and with Drive to Survive, the opportunity to capitalize on that, to recognize our growing fan base here in the U.S., recognize the strength of sponsorship here in the U.S., all of those Vegas set that opportunity up and the opportunity to capitalize more. Yeah, you mentioned ESPN. A number of your investors have asked me, and therefore I'll ask you, you know, a renegotiation with you, ESPN about fees. What are your expectations there? When will that begin? Uh, well, that's ongoing. We are this year, we're on ESPN, and next year we're looking for a broadcast partner. We have a lot of interest. Uh, ESPN's been a great partner. They got a very good deal because uh, we've had rising popularity, and they've capitalized on that as well. Uh, our hope is we'll find a great partner going forward, which could be ESPN or it could be somebody else, and is likely to be at a much better price for us. It's hopefully still good for our partners, for our broadcast partners, too. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.